I'm sorry. I love you. I, I need to. I want to help you, but but this is a bound. There's a boundary that okay, right. maybe your girlfriend should move in. Yeah, you know, I'm. You know, whatever. Right. To that on that level. So it's like, it's it's because I love you. I right. also love me, and this would this will right in the long term ruin our relationship. So let me just. Let me have the courage to right. love me and, and you. See, but people don't understand that because they'd be like, what the F does no, but, that but, mean? But they will. They, they will eventually. Right. Because truth always prevails, right. I, I believe. So right. eventually, if their true friends will come around and they'll see it. Right. I lived with a guy one time and, and, and I had some problems. Mm-hmm. And, and it, was, it was his house. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, you need to move on. And I was like, he was my best friend, you know, from college. Wow. I said, no, move out. Okay. So I moved out. <coughs> so did, did he give you, like, a reason? Yeah, or he said, did he... the way you're behaving, I don't like it. I don't like what you're doing. What, were you partying, bringing yeah, girls yeah, through? Just, you know, just, yeah, just, <laughs> just being an, an idiot. Right, you know? right. And then, it, and then it, it woke me up. It really right. woke me up, like, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm taking advantage of the people that love me, and this is one of my best friends. Right. And it really just, it snapped me up. Right. And later, and on, and later after on, the, yeah, like, mm-hmm. years later, two or three years, I got married and I had kids. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, damn it. Mm-hmm. I called them up and I thanked them. You know, really? Yeah. Because wow. I like, I, if it wasn't for you, right, having that courage to tell me and, and to I get out, love me. You know, right. I knew the guy was just my best friend. Right. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, who knows where I would have been. So I really appreciate that. And he's like, yeah, anytime. And did he know he, you were married at the time, or no, did he? I, he lost, didn't? I lost touch. I lost touch with him for about four or five years, you know. Okay. And uh, got married and had kids, and, and then it's like kind of cross paths somewhere. I'm like, hey, remember me? And he's like, of course. What do you mean? <laughs> we were roommates. <laughs> you know. And, you were... and he's like, yeah, I'm really sorry, man. And he's like, no, no, no forget it. Yeah, and and see, for me, it's like. Sometimes I'll be real, you know. I try to please everybody. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. Don't I try to it. please everybody. Every, I want to make sure everybody's happy because that's the type of family I came from. Like you talking about the connection, right? Yeah. My my family is like you know. I was raised in a family unit where you always stay in touch. You always yep. hang out. Yep. But if I try to take care of everybody. You know, I got to be happy too. And that's something I'm going through. Like, when I was just walking around, literally, I was thinking to myself, what would make me happy? Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if I reach my goals financially this year. It doesn't, you know, because I was depressed. Like, oh, man, I need to lose this weight. Because that's what's been making me unhappy. Is losing, you know, I've, been, I've got this extra weight on. And I'm just, like, thinking to myself, you know. Is that really going to make me well, losing the weight would make me happy. But well, then again, yeah. when I think about it, it's superficial reasons. Because then I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, maybe if I lost this weight, I could have gotten that girl that I was talking to two months ago. You know, but you might think it's silly. But at the end of the day, I really want to lose the weight because I want to... Feel good. Exactly. I want to feel good about yeah. myself. I want to feel healthy. You know, because I'm, I'm... You know, I wake up and then, you know, I, I go out about my day, eat breakfast... By the time I'm the calm tired, I'm like, man, I want to go back to sleep. You yeah, know what I mean? And yeah. I want to be healthy. So that's what I'm trying to do is eat healthier, um, exercise, and no, feel good this, for myself. This is the, this not is, for superficial reasons. Yes. You know? No, no, but this, right. this is the, I think this is the, this, this Harvard study, what they found is that mm-hmm. like, it's about relationships and then right. just living right. Right. Not right. like accomplishing everything and winning awards right. and making tons of money it's just about but see we, we live in a society you got to keep up with the yeah. next person or like I was telling you the guy he got five kids but he's thinking to himself I want to buy these Jordans yeah. Yeah, the I mean look look the shoes I'm wearing right now these are like $20 Walmart yeah. shoes man I'm not even ashamed like these shoes a girl might see and they might be like yeah you can't talk to me you know what I'm saying I keep it real but you know I feel comfortable in these shoes yeah. I'm not and, you know, for me 